Hey everyone, happy Friday Eve. All right, today I have some things to show you from Sephora. This video was requested on my Facebook page. Mainly it was just like, hey, do you know about the whole VIB giveaway type thing? It was just like a free promotional thing, the VIB members. I actually came in and I was like returning something. I was returning that plumper soap and glory lip gloss that I didn't like. I talked about it in my last favorites and unfavorites video. I don't know if you saw it. I returned that and then for some reason I started shopping even though I think I could have just gotten the like VIB gift for free. I'm not really sure. Side note, I don't know if they're still giving this away. So don't get too excited. Mainly I just wanted to show you because it's kind of like a big grab bag of samples and I actually got two big grab bags of samples but I also got two other kind of really exciting things. All right let's go. The first item I got, the new Urban Decay Smoked Eyeshadow Palette. They have all the colors on the back like they usually do. Basically, it's all about, you know, the smoky eye look. And I have no idea why I bought this. I'm definitely not in the market for new eyeshadows. I just bought it. I don't know why. I got a little too excited and the salesperson was really, really nice and helpful and she was cool and I was looking at all kinds of different stuff. But yeah, I've actually already made another order. Since I got this stuff, I have a problem. So here is the actual palette. Um, kind of having the thought that it's a little bit like a, what is it, like an, a Nintendo DS or something. I don't know what I'm talking about here. I have no idea about those things. I'm just trying to talk about like a little kid like video game tiny thing or maybe like a graphing calculator. This is what I'm thinking of when I see this. It's cute, it has the whole smoked kind of case or whatever and it's got a zipper which is weird anyway this is what the inside of the palette looks like it's got kind of this goofy cheesy fairy butterfly wing motif on it i don't really like that um if you can't tell i don't like the packaging however the colors are really pretty so that's basically what's going on for the colors I think I like it, but honestly, part of me is thinking it wasn't worth the price. I haven't completely decided, but I don't know. I was kind of eyeballing a different palette by Lorac online, so I might be returning this. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Don't hold me to that. This is really, really, really pretty. It's just part of me is thinking there aren't enough matte colors. Um, I'm kind of not into the dark green or the dark blue. I don't know. I don't really want to get into it because this is really, really pretty. Included with the palette, there was a 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in Perversion, which is just a super black, really nice eyeliner. I've only seen it on YouTube videos before and it really is awesome. And it also came with one of the eyeshadow primers and I've never had one that was this kind of packaging. I mean, I've had a million in my time, but um, this one's pretty good. It's kind of like a squeeze out nozzle one, which is really nice. Okay, so so that's everything that came with the smoked palette. I don't know what that Lorac palette was called, but it's really new. It's online in Sephora. It has a lot of matte colors, which I love. I'm really interested. I'm still thinking about it. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay. The next thing that I bought, I love. Oh my gosh. I love it. I've heard about this one on YouTube for a really, really long time as well. But for some reason, I never went for it. Formerly called their 24-7 concealer pencil. I was like, hmm, I've heard those are amazing. So I found my color, which is NSA. I was kind of between two, but this one works really, really well. Obviously, I have used it. I haven't used any of my other concealers since I got this. I'm really, really into it. Obviously, I haven't... Oh, crap. Oh, I just pulled off the cap right here. For some reason, I had a moment where I thought I could twist it up. <sighs> Clearly, I've been using the Revlon Balm Stains too much because I just tried to twist it and I pulled it off and maybe broke it. Oh no, I think I can still probably glue it or something. Anyway, I still love it. This concealer is actually really, really amazing. Oh, and the box looks like this. I don't know why, I kept it. Souvenir time. Ooh, oops. 
Sorry, I forgot to show you. This also came with the smoked palette and it's actually really cool. It's like really pretty. The whole book is just like diagrams and step-by-step -step instructions of how to do all these different looks. And the little girl drawing looks like Kate Moss and she's just gorgeous. And you're like, okay, I could do that to my eyes, but I'm still not gonna look like Kate Moss anytime soon. And they're all really, really pretty, um, except for maybe that one, sorry. I like a lot of them, although a lot of them are similar. I don't know, it's nice. All right, next up, I've got my bags O samples. First off, this one is the VIB grab bag. It's kind of one of those little papery, plasticky, metallic pencil bags. It's just like super thin. It feels like it's gonna fall apart any second. This one was completely free just for being a VIB member. I haven't really gotten into all the stuff. I haven't really gotten into either of these because I wanted to do it on the video. It's like an unbagging video. <laughs> First thing I'm seeing is the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. Very nice. I've tried this before, it's nice. But only in a mini sample, I've never like bought it. Ooh, okay, the Benefit Cha Cha Tint. I've never tried this and I need to try it now. Just like the Posy Tint and the Benetint, Tint, you can use it on your cheeks or your lips. And I think it's more of an orange tone and I really wanna open it. It's so tiny and cute. Oh, it's a little baby. Ooh, okay. It's a really, really orange, y'all. So that's what it looks like, and let's see what it looks like when I share it out. Ooh, it like stained my hand instantly. It's a lot like the Benetint. I can't even use the Benetint on my cheeks, like just with my fingers, cause it will like sink in and stain it. So we'll see on that. I'm kind of scared of it already, but not at the same time. Okay, then I got one of these things. It is the Dry Skin Hand Cream. Ooh, I need this. I'm always confused about how to say this brand name and I know it's totally well known and everywhere and everyone says it all the time and I think it's like the Occitan. I could be making that up. I feel stupid. I don't know. But you know what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. You've seen it before. Everyone says it's like the best stuff ever and I'm so glad I have a mini size. I bought this stuff for my mom before but I've never bought it for myself. Ooh, but it feels good. I definitely needed that. I wash my hands like a mad woman, so I always dried out. Next up, this is the Murad Essential C Day Moisturizer, SPF 30. I do SPF 30 moisturizer on my face every single day, and a travel size is always nice. Ooh! This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I've heard so many holy grail worshiping reviews about this stuff, and I believe I tried it, but it was like a really long time ago. You know I am in love with my hourglass primer like till the day I die, but I'll definitely give this stuff a try. We'll see. This is a perfume sample. It's the Stella by Stella McCartney, or Stella, Stella McCartney. I don't, woohoo. I kind of don't want to spray it because look, it's not even filled up all the way. That lotion kind of smells like something. It kind of smells like a baby grandma. Ooh, but I think this perfume smells good. I can slightly smell it over the baby grandma. I can't tell what I'm smelling. I cannot even give you a fair response. Okay, there's just two more things in here. I don't know how to say this brand either. It's the Overnight Restorative Cream anti regal something something something. I use just a really basic nighttime moisturizer. This seems fancy. Maybe it's time for this. I'm not sure. It seems like a lot of it. Thanks, Sephora. Okay, this is the last thing in my little VIB grab bag, and it is the Sephora Instant Moisturizer if you only try one. It's for your face and neck, so that's always nice, and it doesn't have an SPF or anything, so I guess it's just for whenever, but not really for the sun. I'm not really sure. All right, so that was everything in the VIB grab bag, and this is my other grab bag party I got. I think it was like a 500 point perk or something, and it's called the Summer Glow Set, and I love this little bag. How cute is it? I think it's gonna be really, really useful for like throwing in my purse and stuff like that because it's see-through. I love see-through things. Oh, there actually is a list. It's called the Essential Glow. Eight must-haves for luminous, healthy glow. Okay, come on out. 
This reminds me of Birchbox. All right, here's the first thing. It's actually the first thing on the list too. It is the Anastasia Hydrofull Gloss. I've only tried their brow products. Whoa. As I was saying, I've only tried their brow products and this is hilariously cute. Look at this little baby. This is the babiest thing I've ever seen. The color is called Bellini and it kind of looks like a sparkly orange. Oh, whoa. It's on like a wand slash a paint stick. I'm not even sure. So the little cha-cha tint and the little Bellini are gonna move away and live happily ever after on my face. Ooh. Okay, this is the Lorac Tantalizer Deep Body Bronzing Luminizer. Neat. It looks really cool and I don't know, I hope it works. Next up we have the Shiseido Benefits Wrinkle Release 24 Intensive Eye Contour Cream. <gasps> Yay! I always love getting an eye cream and a sample between Birchbox and Glossy Box and Sephora samples and everything. I have bought probably like one eye cream in my life. Not only do I not know what is the best or what to buy, and I kind of feel stupid buying it, you get the fancy brands, but you get the baby size, and they're free, and it's amazing, and life is beautiful that way. So next up, this is the Sephora Outrageous Volume Dramatic Volume Mascara. Cool. I think I've tried one of the volume mascaras by Sephora before, and I think I really liked it, so that's cool. I feel like I need to hurry this up because I'm taking forever. Next up, this is the Bamboo Shine Luminous Shine Mist. Next, this is the Clarins UV Plus HP. HP, what? SPF 40 anti-pollution. <laughs> SPF 40, okay. For those days you're feeling really unsafe in the sun. Next, this is the something. Ooh, it's another fragrance. Hey. Number three. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to smell it since I have a lot of smells going on around me right now. There's like no hope, y'all. I think it smells really good. It smells kind of fruity. I'm not really sure. Romantic, confident, and charismatic blend with notes of kiwi, jasmine, musk, and sandalwood. I think I really like it. Ooh, kiwi. This is the last thing in my little grab bag party. Facial Radiance Pads by First Aid Beauty. I've tried their moisturizer before and it works pretty well. They exfoliate, tone, and brighten, and there's seven pads in here. It's like one of those lifter things, just like all the rest of the like makeup wipes and stuff. That's really nice. Okay, so I feel like that went on forever because I kind of had two major grab bag parties. Yeah, but I think that's it. Forgive me. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, you can comment down below. There's a bunch of links in the description for sure. You can find me other places on the internet. I'm really easy to find. For example, Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Leanne Says, and on Twitter, it's at Leanne Says. I hope you guys have a really awesome weekend, and if you're starting school soon, good luck. And if you're starting school soon, I'm sorry, I am too. We're together in this. It's gonna be okay. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that and click it up there. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Hold on, I'm gonna back up. I can't open this for some reason. It's been open, trust me. But I closed it again, I don't know why. I don't know why I do that. Um, I have a problem. I don't know what it is. I need to work it out on my lips. Looks crazy. I don't wanna waste it because I feel like I have maybe one drop in here. I am the worst watcher ever. This is not the kind of stuff I naturally gravitate to. I'm not sure if there are people that are just naturally like, yes, I want to look like a serious lady, but I don't know, I don't know. I'm not one of them, um, so it really was, it, it took a special effort for me to go out and be like, okay, this is what I'm looking for, I'm gonna find these things and I'm gonna make myself spend some money on them. <laughs>